As you can see, we've already installed SVS and we've already downloaded the Bon Echo setup package, so we're ready to get started. Uh, go to File, Create New Layer, and we're going to use SVS to install an application, so we'll keep that uh, selected. We're going to call our layer Firefox Bon Echo Alpha, so it's obvious what our layer is capturing. Um, now we're going to browse to find our install package, and there it is. Uh, when we finish, SVS will launch the Bon Echo setup, which you can install exactly as you normally would. Uh, the only difference is that every time uh, the Bon Echo installer tries to make a change to your registry or file system, SVS will snag it and save it into the layer you've just created, so that whenever you choose to deactivate a layer, uh, every file the installer added will disappear as though it never existed. When we finish the installation, we're going to let the installer automatically launch Bon Echo. The cool part about this is that since Bon Echo was launched by the install package, SVS keeps capturing any changes we make. Uh, as you can see, we're running Bon Echo, and everything looks pretty good. Uh, so let's close out of it. When the last process launched by the installer ends, in this case the Bon Echo browser, SVS will finish capturing the base layer. From here on out, you can make as many changes as you want, but if any of them happen to cause a problem, you can easily reset your layer to this original state. As you can see, you can still run Firefox 1.5 since, as it turns out, Bon Echo installs to its own directory. However, it still shares the same application data with Firefox 1.5, meaning that all of my 1.5 extensions show up but are disabled in Bon Echo. I'm using the MRTech local install extension to manage my extensions, and this means in Bon Echo I can try forcing my 1.5 extensions to work. So I'm going to try and do that with Session Saver, and as you can see, forcing Session Saver to work with Bon Echo seemed to work just fine. However, in the event that uh, enabling Session Saver caused a problem for me, I can simply reset the layer, and everything will go back to my original state. As you can see, Session Saver is no longer enabled. Finally, and here's the really cool part about SVS, if I'm not happy with the program for whatever reason, I can simply deactivate the layer. When I do so, all traces of the installed Bon Echo disappear. If I change my mind, I can just as easily activate the layer, bringing everything back to where I left it.